Hello everyone. Welcome back to the online classes. I am CP Sivasyam, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, MVSR Engineering College, Hyderabad. In this lecture, I am going to cover the definition and examples of composites, constituents of composites, properties of composites, classification of composites, advantages of composites, applications of composites. What are composites? If you see the example of wood, wood is a composite material which contains cellulose fibers and lignine. Bone is also a composite material which contains hydroxyapatite and collagen. Hut is a composite material which contains straw, mud, rice husk, dung, etc. Reinforced concrete is also a composite material which contains cement, sand, gravels, etc. Coming to the definition of composites, composites are materials made up of two or more physically and or chemically distinct phases with an interface separating them. What are the constituents of composites? If you see the composite materials, the composites mainly consist of two constituents body constituent and the structural constituent body constituent encloses the composite material and gives it its bulk form and continuous matrix phase is a body constituent structural constituent gives the internal structure of the composite material and the dispersed phase is a structural constituent so we can say composite is made by matrix phase and dispersive phases if you see the matrix phase as i told you it is a continuous body constituent it gives bulk form it may be a metal polymer or ceramic if you see the dispersive phase it is a structural constituent of composite it determines internal structure of composite it may be fibers, particles, flakes, and viscous. You can see the structures of different dispersed phases like fibers, particles, flakes, and viscous. We can see the dispersed phases of various things like particles, short fibers, long fibers, mica etc in this slide coming to the properties of composites the composites show extraordinary combination of properties like toughness and strength with the low weights and high temperature resistance toughness means the ability of a material to resist breaking when force is applied strength is how much force needs to be applied before the material deforms compared to steel and aluminium composites are lighter have low coefficient of thermal expansion and have superior strength stiffness and fatigue resistance that means comparing to steel and aluminium the composite materials are less in weight and they have a low coefficient of thermal expansion that means they will not expand much when heat is applied to that material and have a superior strength stiffness means resistance of material to deformation fatigue resistance means the load bearing capacity of the composite material they have a better corrosion and oxidation resistance the properties of composites mainly depends on relative amounts of constituents that means the concentration of the matrix phase and the reinforced phase, distribution and orientation of the constituent materials, shape and size of constituents, classification of composites. The composites are mainly classified into different types based on three factors matrix phase, based on reinforced phase, based on the number of layers present in the composite material 
on the basis of matrix phase the composites are classified into three categories metal matrix composites polymer matrix composites ceramic matrix composites based on the reinforced phase composite materials are classified into two categories fiber reinforced composites particle reinforced composites particle reinforced composites are once again classified into two categories large particle composites dispersion strengthen fiber reinforced composites are once again classified into two categories long fibers or continuous fibers short fibers or discontinuous fibers these are once again classified into four categories glass fiber reinforced composites carbon fiber reinforced composites aramid fiber reinforced composites alumina or carbon reinforced composites in the third category based on the number of layers or plies the composites are mainly classified into two categories layered composites and sandwich panels layered composites are consists of different layers of the materials whereas the sandwich consists of mainly three layers in the center the core layer is there and the top of that core layer and the bottom of that one face sheets are attached to that core material you can see the examples of this continuous fibers continuous fibers are nothing with the long fibers these are the short fibers or viscous particulates these are the layers this is the sandwich structure which consists of a core material which is attached to the two layers top layer and the bottom layer which are called as face sheets advantages of composites strength and stiffness combined with light weight that means composite materials are light in weight having a good strength and stiffness as i told you stiffness is the resistance of a material to deformation composites are less likely than metals to break up completely under stress that means when a stress is applied to the composite material it will not break with that much ease the right mix of constituent materials often results in composites which are heat and corrosion resistant that means if we prepare a composite material with a definite proportion of the constituents the resultant composite material is a very good heat and corrosion resistant composite materials are also very durable they provide design flexibility as they can be molded into complex shapes that means it can be tailored into any of the desired shapes the manufacturing process are often more efficient when composites are used if you see the applications of composite materials the composites are used in the transportation that means composites are used in the manufacturing of automobiles racing vehicle components and engine parts second marine industries they are used as a propeller shafts hulls spars that means if you see this structure this is the hull of a boat or a ship and these are the spars of the boat third aerospace they are used in military aircrafts helicopters missiles and rocket components etc fourth consumer product they are used in sporting goods like tennis rackets golf sticks musical instruments like violin guitar etc fifth electronics and communication composites are frequently used in industrial and scientific equipments like high speed machinery electronic circuit boards like pcbs printed circuit boards communication antenna etc sixth safety equipments safety equipments like 
ballistic protection and airbags of cars etc seventh biomedical applications composites are used as artificial heart valve comma knee replacement caps dentistry etc eighth composite applications in building and constructions these composite materials are used for the construction and construction of buildings and bridges etc thank you